Hello, everyone, and welcome to Test Kitchen Live. Thank you all for being here today. We are ready to get our summer groove on with some new products, tips, and recipes to help you get out the door and on the go this summer. So, oh, by the way, this is our 10th Test Kitchen Live, so we're so excited whether you have been joining us ever since our very first one, or maybe this is your first Test Kitchen Live. Please put in the chat, where are you joining from? What are you excited to see? And what are you excited uh, for summer? So many things. So we can't wait to get cooking with you. I also have my friend Abby on the chat. Hi, Abby. Hi, Sandy. Happy to be here. I'm watching the chat. So make sure to participate. There might be some surprises later for participation. Super duper. All right, so yes, please interact in the chat. So much fun. So for my first recipe, I'm going to be making the Green Goddess Pasta Salad. This is a great recipe to take on the go for barbecues, potlucks, uh, what else? Pool parties, block parties, all the things that you need to bring a nice, fun summer dish to. And my friend Megan Hemi um, from the Consumables team is going to come out and help me. Hi, Megan. Hi, Sandy. <laughs> you're, an, you're an old Tusk Kitchen Live pro by now, right? Well, I don't know about old, but... You've joined us before. But Megan, <laughs> tell us really quick. So you work with all the consumables. I do. I work on all the pantry items. So I work on developing the new pantry items. I oversee the line and then also our subscription. So taste buds and nourishables. Sweet. So Megan's got something really cool to share, but she's going to help me cook just for a little bit. All right. I need a little help. Okay. Okay. So please put in the chat, if you have made the Green Goddess Pasta Salad before, we actually are doubling it tonight to make it work in our new five quart on the go awesome. bowl. This is a new guy. We also have its little brother, the two quart on the go bowl. So I'll tell you quickly about this. I already have my rotini pasta in there and chilled. Look at that stainless steel interior, double wall insulation. So it's great for coal and hot foods. Mm -hmm. What do you think I love you'll that. make this summer in there? Ooh, oh my gosh, maybe some mac and cheese. I knew you'd say that. Oh, I love it. Pulled pork. Mm -hmm. um, I like potato salad in mm -hmm. there. We use it sometimes just with ice cubes in, just to keep them cold. Oh, that's a great idea. Yeah. Perfect. So again, this is the five quart. It also has the lid rest for when you're at your barbecue or wherever you're at, you don't have to mess up your table. I also love it has a vent lid so that um, like if you've got something hot in there, you mm -hmm. can go ahead and vent it so it doesn't get suction closed. And then probably the best part, the little spoon rest right there for you. I love it. It's gorgeous. I love it too. Super excited. So let's get started on our pasta salad. Like I said, I've got my rotini. One step of pasta salad is to make sure you're using those like bite-sized noodles, mm -hmm. right, that match the ingredient, the size of ingredients of your other things. So we have got some grape tomatoes that I'm going to go ahead and slice them up with a cup slicer. And Megan's going to get started on her cucumber of the cup slicer. Yeah. yeah. So I'm going to do cucumber um, half moons. Half moons. So yep. I've got these that are already cut. And I'm going to use the quick slice, which is super easy to You're use You're a fan of the quick here. slice? Um, you know, I'm going to be honest. I have not used the quick slice very much. What? Um, so getting ready for this, I'm using, but it's so easy. <laughs> it's so easy. Look at this. It's almost like the quick slice. Ooh. And it's even slices. So you fast. did that all in one? <laughs> yeah. I'm kind of impressed so with that. Great. It's so great. Are you sure you've only used that one time? One time. Okay. Well, but second look, time. I like to say that the cup slicer, speaking of little brothers, this is the big brother mm -hmm. or big sister, little sister, and same with the cup slicer. Totally. And the quick slice. Really good for harder jobs, bigger foods, softer foods, smaller mm -hmm. jobs. Yes. Awesome. Heather, good look at you go, Megan. Thank you, Heather. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> the joy of our products. Like, they're just so easy that you I know, right? Even the first timers. Right. You just can't go wrong. I love the quick slice. Uh, oh, I'm supposed to be doing that. Why am I doing one too? time? Yeah, do that. Um, can I add this? Is that okay? So pour that okay. in there. Yeah, you sure can. Uh, I love the quick slice. I think we have um, a little salad. Like, you could do tomatoes and mozzarella all together oh, mm -hmm. with cucumbers. Two. I think we've got like a five minute salad we once did with yeah. a quick slice. Put in the chat, everyone out there. What are your favorite ways to use the quick slice? Tomatoes can be a little juicy. That's just how they are in nature. So you just got to deal with it. <laughs> you just make it work. to deal with it. They're a little juicy. You want firm grape tomatoes. Yeah. Look at how that's coming together so far. Yes. Uh, I'm going to cut my avocado really quick. You can go ahead and add the corn. Okay. We've got corn and beans over there. Got it. I love all the colors. I know, right? Yeah. 
eat with your eyes too, right? Yeah, I wish my kids did. <laughs> <laughs> Them not so much, but right. maybe one day. So I've got my avocado tool over, over here. I already cut my avocado in half. Ooh, I got a good avocado. Ooh, that I amazing. love this tool because it's everything you need all in one to go ahead and slice it in half. Get your pit out and aim that very well. Oops, still got it. I got it. And then it has a smooth side and it's got a serrated side. So I'm going to go ahead and use that smooth side to get the avocado out. Now, anybody who knows me knows I'm a big avocado fan. So, <laughs> so good. any recipe that I could go ahead and get avocado in, I'm going to. And then I'm going to cut it with the cup slicer. It's really easy to get nice. You could also cut the avocado with the quick slice too. Oh yeah, for sure. You could. I'm just going to cut it in half. Look at this beautiful ripe. So this recipe calls for a couple avocados. One's going to go in the pasta salad and the other one is going to be in the dressing, which is going to make it so creamy, creamy and delicious. And then after I cut this up, you can tell them about our exciting summer product. Pretty excited. Pretty excited. <laughs> I am very excited. Who's excited? Abby, who is excited about out there on all our summer products, including that insulated So I, I saw a little like fun comparison. Someone said Ooh. that the bowls are like the Yeti of bowls, right? Like they're yes. keeping it cold or keeping it warm. Love it. Um, we've got some first time hosts, some first time consultants joining us today. So welcome, we're so happy you're here. This is so fun, we're happy to have you. All right, look at all that avocado goodness. And when I kind of toss this together, why don't you do a little unboxing of the taste buds summer teaser box our summer teaser box yeah i'm so excited about this so this summer teaser box is giving you a little taste of what it's like to be a taste buds subscriber so this will give you a bunch of flavors and recipes and ideas for the summertime so i'm super excited so it comes with four pantry items and a durable product or a, a kitchen tool I kitchen guess you tool, yep. um so this is coming with our hamburger slider and press um so you love this I love this that this is my husband's favorite pampered chef tool Yeah, because it's just so fast and easy to shape burgers the perfect shape. Mm -hmm. It even gives them a little dimple and that's what helps them really hold their shape and not shrink up on the grill. And you don't have to touch your meat. You just get a oh, scoop, yeah. put it in there, press it out, and then you can even make mini burgers too. Yeah. So easy. Dishwasher safe. So easy. Oh, so great. Yeah. So it comes with that. So for our pantry items, we've got the Kansas City style barbecue, which is sweet and spicy delicious. and tangy. Oh yeah. So good. And then we've got three exclusive spices so as a taste it but subscriber you get access to these uh as being a subscriber so first we've got chimichurri um so chimichurri can be used almost like as a condiment so it's like an herby mixture with some vinegar it's tangy there's garlic Parsley. there's so much flavor going on in this it's so good um i'm really excited if you can't tell i'm excited that's my favorite one and i know one we're probably getting a lot of love in the chat so far from the yes. chimichurri because it's great so good um, and then we've got a quick smokehouse marinade and mm -hmm. also a quick Italian marinade. So marinating, sometimes you have recipes that call to marinade for four to six hours, right? Yeah. What if you don't have the time? Who's got the time? 30 minutes. So you can marinate in 30 minutes. You can use it also for some other dressings. We've got recipe ideas. Oh, yeah, share the recipe Speaking ideas. of which. Yes. So these, like you said, these were specifically designed to be quick marinades. Quick marinades. Got That's it. right. Love it. Um, yeah. So, and then we've got amazing recipes. So... Sandy, you're familiar with all chimichurri of these. Chimichurri steak with grilled veggies with so the chimichurri good. mix. Grilled chicken and romaine salad with the smokehouse marinade mix. Simple but delicious. Mm -hmm. A little kick to it. Barbecue bacon burger With the Kansas City. My husband's going to love that. Grilled salmon with succotash. And this one's my favorite. So good. And last but not least, what I'm super excited about, we have a discount code that is included in every single box. So this will give you a discount to become a Taste Buds subscriber. I love it. And as a subscriber, there's lots of perks that yeah. you get access to. So you get access to the Allen's Market. You get, um, there are exclusive products in there. You can get the chimichurri. They're on discount. So exclusive discounts. You get free, free shipping. Delivery. Yep, free shipping. Who doesn't love free? Yeah. Um, you get access to the hub. So if you love these recipes, there are more recipes to be had there. Um, so yeah, it's all available in the box. Spoken like a real Taste Buds fan. I am excited. <laughs> and I bet we have a lot of Taste Buds fans out there. So that's super excited. And again, 
This is while supplies last. While supplies last, yes. There is a limited supply, so okay. buy now. Get it while you yes. can. All right, thanks, Megan. So we need a delicious dressing for this, right? Uh, Before what? we get to the dressing, I want to tell a little yes. bit more about Ooh, the yeah. taste buds box. So the taste buds box, while, like Sandy and Megan said, it's while supplies last. And there's two ways you can get it. You can, or three ways, really. So as a customer, while supplies last, as a host, if you're a host and you submit a $200 or more party in the first 15 days of the month, you'll get this for free as a bonus for thanking you for being a wonderful host. And if you become a consultant this month, the Taste Buds box is part of a bundle that you can earn in your first 30 days as a new consultant. And in addition to the Taste Buds box, you get the smaller, the little brother insulated bowl <laughs> and the cup slicer and our grilling tools set when you're uh, submitting enough sales in your first 30 days. So if you're interested in becoming a Pampered Chef consultant, doing demos like Sandy's doing today, like you're going to meet a consultant, Crystal, in a minute, um, making a little bit of extra income for the summer for those extra ice cream runs or whatever, um, to reach out to your consultant for details. Awesome. I've already been making a lot of ice cream runs. <laughs> Summer has barely started. Too many. <laughs> Too many. All right. All right. So now we need to make the amazing dressing that goes on the salad. I think our paper chef consultant, Crystal, is going to put on a little something different. You can pretty much just drink it right out of uh, the container. So we're going to kick it over to Crystal to show us how to make this delicious dressing. Hi, Crystal. Crystal, Crystal. <laughs> Hi there. <laughs> we I will am love here. It won't let me start my video. You can just the green goddess seasoning by itself. Mm. Oh my it's god, so delicious. I like to just mix it with some Greek yogurt mm -hmm. and just dip my veggies in it. It makes me, it's like a two minute, it makes me yeah. feel really good about myself. Me too. Yeah. It's one of our faves. Yeah. All right. There's Hi, Crystal. Friends. Hello! Awesome! I am super excited to be here with you guys tonight. I'm Crystal. I am married and have one kiddo. My husband is a firefighter paramedic and our daughter is 11 years old and she actually wants to be in Pampered Chef when she grows up. So I have been with Pampered Chef now for 12 years and what started as a small desire to just get all the products that I wanted for as little as possible quickly turned into a lot more. I was having fun, I was making friends, and I was making some extra money, which is always nice. And so it became one of the biggest and most unexpected blessings for our entire family and a career that I absolutely love. So I'm super stoked to be here tonight and be able to share with you some of my absolute favorite products. So as Sandy shared, it is all about in June, get your summer groove on, right? And so tonight I am going to show you a quick recipe and how using the immersion blender a few simple ingredients and some of my favorite tools can make it so simple. Now I'm gonna be making the green goddess dressing and it is full of summer flavors. It's perfect for on the go and a total crowd pleaser. And I'll be using the green goddess seasoning mix. Absolutely amazing. It's really perfect for pasta salad like we're making tonight a dip. I learned earlier today, great as a spread and even over a traditional salad. So like I said, I'm using the immersion blender and love the simplicity of this tool. You can easily mix your dips right inside of the bowl that you're already using, your sauces or your soups in the saucepan that you're already partaking in the meal, right? Like you don't have to move it to something else because that is what makes things so simple. It's all about being hassle-free. And for this busy mom, that's my favorite couple of words, right? So the Immersion Blender is part of the Flex Plus, which is a three-in-one tool. It's a power tool for your kitchen. Also comes with a stand, or I'm sorry, also comes with a processor and a hand mixer. Plus the best part, these two little rechargeable batteries. Since there's two of them, one can always be charging while you're using the other one. So you never have to wait on the recharge. So let's get right to making our recipe for tonight. I'm gonna to use this handy little cup and 
To start us off, you can use sour cream or I am actually using Greek yogurt tonight. And so with this, this is one of my first two tools. Who has the measure all? I used to use it in the kitchen with my mom for desserts and we would use it for peanut butter because it was such a simple way to get that out. So look at that easy peasy. The other side you can do liquid measurements. And then next up we have our canola oil in an easy read measuring cup. These are totally my faves as well. Due to the slant, you don't have to hold it up in the air to find out what the measure is. You just set it right here on the cutting board and you pour right away. So we're gonna go ahead and add our oil. And then next up after that, we have our milk. And then following that, we're gonna actually get our seasoning that we need. So we've got all of our seasoning. We'll just pour that in here pre-measured, ready to go. We're going to add some white wine vinegar. And then of course, we got to add some more of the avocado that Sandy has already mentioned. So much flavor is going into here. So the recipe that I'm doing is actually doubled and you can see real fast, all the ingredients fit right inside of here. So the immersion blender, like I said, is super, super simple to use. You just unlock it right here on the back. And then you're going to put it right down inside. And we're going to mix right here inside this bowl. So the first time that I used this was actually on a tortilla soup. And I'll be honest, usually with tortilla soup, I don't worry about trying to move it over to a processor and get that thick consistency that we're always wanting. But I really want it, right? And so with this, you don't have to worry about moving it over. You can just do it right inside of this awesome little cup or the saucepan that you're using, whatever. All right, so look at that. Within like 20 seconds, you have a perfect dressing to use, or you can make a dip or use it in your soups or sauces. Ooh, make sure that doesn't fall off. So like I said, it is so great for pasta salad, dips, or tonight I've got our other small size of our on the go. And in it, I have a salad. So we don't eat a lot of pasta salad around our house. So I just have a traditional salad ready to go. And I am actually just gonna pour some of this right on top and I, I taste tested it yesterday when I was practicing and it's really, really great as a dip. So look at that, super, super yummy. Eat with your eyes, right? Everyone loves that. So it's such a delicious item to keep on hand all summer long. Take it wherever you go to all your gatherings. I'm super excited to use it um, next up at Father's Day. So I hope you enjoy it as well. So back to you, Sandy. Crystal, that was so awesome. How good does that dressing look? And we went ahead and dressed our pasta salad. Now, if it looks very dressed to you right now, it's pretty dressy right now, but that's because we're gonna have to chill it. And when you chill a pasta salad, it kind of drinks up the dressing. So you kind of wanna overdress it so that um, once it's done chilling, it comes out. Another good tip I have is once you chill it, take it out and let it sit at room temperature for just a little bit so mm -hmm. it's not like just cold pasta you want to let it come to room temperature those flavors will stand out then i have a little cotija cheese Ooh. you a fan yeah all right um i just like cheese yeah right. how many cheese fans do we have out there let's put a cheese emoji <laughs> yeah, let's get that going. in the chat i think most people do cotija is a lot like feta cheese but it's a little more tangy mm -hmm. and a little more sour so feta is milder than cotija so you could do either one so delicious and creamy and look at that so good. So it great. smells amazing. Too. Doesn't it? We're going to eat this, yes. folks. We're going to be eating this for a late Those cheese dinner. emojis are blown up. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I knew it. <laughs> all right. So this all looks great, but we, we need some dessert. Well, of course we do. We need some dessert that all of you can learn how to make and take on the go for fun little parties. So I'm going to move this guy back. It's a lot of pasta salad. Okay, so we are making our cookies and cream icebox cake. This is a classic, I'm excited. super classic, and we're making it in our rectangular cool and serve. If you guys are fans of our cool and serve line, 
We have a small colon serve, a large square colon serve, a two core bowl, a one core bowl. Have I forgotten one? I'm not sure. I don't know. And the amazing uh, rectangle cone serve. This is so great mm -hmm. for on the go. So you keep these two pucks in the freezer, and then when you're ready to go, you put them on the bottom, and then it keeps your food cool for four to six hours. So great for layered salads. Mm -hmm. You could put burger toppings in here. We have a great seven layer dip. I was going to say seven, seven layer, layer dip. dip. Oh, I mean, yum. it's kind of like made for so it. Good. And what's great is you'll see that the lid kind of nests right under there so you're not making a big mess and a nice spill resistant lid. And it's all dishwasher safe. That's amazing. Okay, so this recipe is almost a little too easy. But that's okay. We I like easy it. here. Probably start making this all the time. Okay, start by layering the Oreo cookies on the bottom. Okay. We've got about 66 Oreos. Oh, wow. That's a lot of work. <laughs> you got this. Okay. And what I love about this recipe is you can switch it up with different flavored cookies Ooh. and different flavored whipped cream. So while she's doing that, I already made whipped cream in our deluxe sand mixer. And it took me three minutes. Mm. All I did was add my heavy whipping cream, powdered sugar, and vanilla to, of course, our beautiful deluxe sand mixer. Hit whip for three minutes, no under or over mixing. It's just perfect. So you can make chocolate whipped cream, oh, strawberry yeah. whipped cream. Oh my gosh, we have all those recipes. My kids love, love whipped cream. Do they? Yeah, kind of embarrassingly so. <laughs> okay, whipped cream is a delicious, Too much. <laughs> delicious thing. Yep, am I? You're doing it great. Should I speed it up a little bit? A little bit. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm ready for you. It's all right, I'll get my little, I need a little spreader here. All right, it's a lot of Oreos. Okay. Oh, guys, Diane said that the Java Oreos, <gasps> Ooh, that would be so good. Oh, like a little man, coffee gosh. vibe. Diane, you just inspired us. That sounds amazing. So I've got my whipped cream. So easy. And then this just becomes kind of, so I'll good. use my spreader. You want to help kind of spread while I'll do I my best. Do your best, okay? This is oh, like, I'll start spreading. Yeah, you, you can't go. mess this up, okay. right? I mean, okay. it's whipped cream. and I've never done this. So okay. yeah, you, right. I guess you can't. <laughs> Look at that, you guys. This is so good. I love this for just a last minute dessert that you have to bring for a barbecue. Oh my gosh. I have to head to the pool after this. This would be amazing to take to the pool. Tonight you're going to the pool? I have a swim meet, yep. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Your daughter has a swim meet. Mm -hmm. How exciting. And you know what they would Do love? Do you want to bring this? They would love this. We might just have one for you to bring, but can I have one piece? Yes. Oh. Yes. <laughs> just one there might piece. be enough to share. Okay. You know what? I might have added a little too. Oh, too that's much. okay. See, did I say we can't mess this up? I got a little too excited. No, that's good. Okay. <laughs> that's funny. That's funny. All right. Then we're going to layer, layer again. Me. Now, while we're layering, I think you guys all get the point. I think Abby has some more interesting things to share than just watching us layer. Although it is kind of interesting to watch us <laughs> like, I just want to okay. say, because someone asked. Yes. You did not, you're not putting that stuff directly onto the ice box. No. There's a layer. There's another layer. There's a layer. A layer in between. Yeah. There's another little layer that protects it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so, sorry. <laughs> sorry. So, I want to talk about the Deluxe Stand Mixer. So, if you guys have been on Test Kitchen Live before, you've heard me say there's two ways to get the Deluxe Stand Mixer, right? Host a party this month, 60% off for the stand mixer at a party. And you can become a consultant and you can earn the stand mixer in your first 30 days, which is a really great opportunity. But now in June, customers can also purchase the stand mixer. So that's Whoa. super exciting. Nice. Um, but best way to get it still 60% off as a host or for free. If you get it as a consultant, you can earn it. So I want to thank you guys all for being here. We're not done yet, but I'm talking about what consultants can earn. You guys are here. What can you earn, right? We have a little surprise for some of you that have been participating in the chat, the green goddess mix. Make it for the pasta salad. Make it for the lettuce salad like Crystal did. It's really good as a veggie dip. There's a lot of things you can do with it. So Tamara Cantonesco, Sherry Gregory, Angela Kersey, and Donna Hutchinson. We're going to send you one of these. Thank you for being here today. And we hope you see you on Test Kitchen Live again. Congratulations. Congrats, you guys. What a great little surprise and delight right in time for summer, that green goddess mix. Oh, so good for summer. Um, check out pamperchef.com for some more recipe inspiration if you need some. But I'm telling you, the pasta salad and just a simple dip is really 
my favorite in dressings. All right, what do you think? So this is gonna go in the refrigerator and oh chill goodness. for about four good. hours. That's it, but we gotta top it with. Ooh, I'll do the Oreos and you can do the cherries. Okay. What else could you top this with? I don't know. Graham crackers. Ooh, little s'mores. Yeah, action. Mm-hmm. This looks so good. Chocolate chips, <gasps> sprinkles. Just like Crystal said, like we totally eat with our eyes. Yes. But this was such an easy recipe, but the presentation is everything. So Put in the true. chat if you guys have made this before. Have you switched it up? Made it just like this. This makes me just cherries. excited for some. Look at your cherry placement. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Nikki said it's everything artistic. is better with cherries. Yes. Oh, I agree. Oh, I totally cherries. agree. Oops. Thanks. Here we go. Wait. We did it. Just one. Oh, wait. One right there. Okay, so this goes. But guess what? We have one for Megan to take to the pool. Perfect. <laughs> After I take a piece out. Oh, yes. Then we've got oh, we have plates. Yes. Okay. Your daughter. We've got some fine. great ideas in here, right? Like rainbow sprinkles. Oh. Mm -hmm. um, banana pudding layer added to it. Oh. There's, I mean, the possibilities are endless. So okay. easy. You're going to do the honors, right? Sure. It's too much pressure for me. It's really easy. Is that too small? Sometimes I cut. <gasps> Gorgeous. So you know what though? I don't have a cherry on mine. Okay. <laughs> We're just gonna steal. This Thank you. One. For, okay. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> this just makes me really excited for summer. You know what? Breaks a little bit. It's okay. So good. So delicious, guys. Well, thank you so much for joining. We'd love you to put in the chat what was the favorite recipe or product or maybe tip you saw today. Uh, there will be a survey that pops up after this, and we'd love to get your feedback so we continue to make these events great for you. We also have more live events happening all through the month, so ask your Pamper Chef consultant on how you can become a part of those, or go to PamperChef.com and click on the live events page, and you can see more events just like these. Um, so we're going to stick around and um, answer some more questions. I'm mm. probably going to eat my oh. cookies and cream cake, yeah. even though I haven't had dinner yet. Is that allowed? You know, every once in a while. Is that allowed? It's summer. Okay, rules go away. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, the first question is for Megan. Oh, okay. Our, Put your um, cake down. Okay. I know you can handle it. Okay. I wouldn't, I wouldn't ask you if you could. Okay. Are the new seasonings, the exclusives in the box, are they going to be available to current subscribers? They will be in add-ons uh, in July. Great. That's exciting. Yeah. Chimichurri already was in the June, right? That was. Yes. Sorry. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That yes. Was good. That's right. Um. Okay. Sandy, uh -huh. do you have any recommendations to make the icebox cake, cake diabetic friendly? Oh, just take a really small. <laughs> um. No, there's probably sugar-free yeah. cookies that you could do. Um, and then for the whipped cream, you could just add a lot less powdered sugar. Just like add a little bit of powdered sugar so maybe it wouldn't be as sweet. Yeah, that's great. That's one little tip. Maybe I'm going on the cherries too. I'm going to take the next one. So the question is, will the new lids fit on the white insulated bowls? And the thing is they do, but we don't recommend that you swap them because that's not what they're meant for. Like if you have them, it will fit, but the on the go is the whole idea that it's meant for that bowl. Yeah, awesome. Um... Can you ask Sandy how to make Java whipped cream in the stand mixer? Um, I had said Java yeah. Oreos. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like to do whipped cream. Like you could add cocoa powder mm -hmm. to it. What about some espresso powder? Maybe some espresso powder. Mm -hmm. And then maybe at the end mix in some like cookie chips or mm -hmm. yeah. does that sound like Java chip? Or mix in some mini chocolate chips at the mm -hmm. end. What about those? Um, chocolate covered coffee beans yes have you I had those love, i love those yeah um, you get like a double jolt i love i love those. <laughs> i love a jolt <laughs> um sandy can you talk about the weight like not the exact weight but like how heavy is the stand mixer how do you lift it and... yeah what's great about the stand mixer um i'm sure some of you have heard is we really looked at the other stand mixers on the market and looked at some of the pain points that people experienced with those stand mixers so one of them is the definitely the weight so we created this one with even weight distribution so um 
it is even. So it's a lot easier to carry around your kitchen. Mm -hmm. Of course, it's got this cord wrap, mm -hmm. so you can wrap it right up and then transfer wherever you want. So the even weight distribution really, really helps. It's a totally. really nice selling feature of yeah. the standard. I used to have a competitive one, and yeah. it was so top heavy. I just felt like I was going to drop it's safe. it. Yeah. It, did, it didn't feel sturdy in my hands. This feels right. So no top heavy. Yeah, really nice and even. Yeah. Okay. Last question, and I'm going to take it again. It's about the bowls. Are the bowls like? What's the difference between the white ones that we have currently in the line and the new blue ones? The blue ones have the lid that's meant for travel. So you can use them wherever you want. The white ones are prettier for, you know, using in your own home, maybe serving for the holidays or breakfast on the weekends, whatever, meals when your kids are coming home. But yeah, that's really just the difference is the on the go. Yeah, and that's both have, I think both have a huge need in your kitchen and in your, like for your everyday cooking needs. But yeah, great answer. Yeah. Cool, well thanks everybody. We hope to see you again really soon and happy cooking to everyone.